Hello, everyone. This presentation is designed not only to shed light on the science behind electromagnetism and magnetism, but to ignite your curiosity, spark your imagination, and provide a glimpse into the extraordinary inventions and breakthrough that have sprung from this phenomenon. So, fasten your mental sit down as we embark on a thrilling road voyage through electromagnetism and magnetism. Let's the magnetic fields and electric currents guide us on these captivating explorations of the focus of the forces that make our world spin. Magnetism. Magnetism is a study on magnets and behavior of interactions with one another. Based on law of magnetism and magnetic field, it states that all magnets have two poles, north and south. All magnets field is a trillion of space which the magnetic material will experience magnetic force. Permanent magnet generates the fields that induces the magnetic poles within the magnet material to polarize in a single direction, hence creating temporary magnet. Only permanent magnet can repel another permanent magnet. Non-magnetic materials would never be attracted to or repelled by a magnet. Let's look into detections of magnetic field. The example given here is a paper laid on top of magnet. By spreading fine iron filling on a piece of paper laid on top of a magnet, we can see the outline magnetic lines of force of magnetic field. And the other example is the spreading fine iron fillings. We can use compass whereby the needles will point in the same direction of magnetic fields line. Furious and non-furious material. Let's look into what are the furious material. Furious material is the magnet material. It will be affected by magnetic field when they are placed in one. Example like iron, cobalt, nickel, and steel. Iron is one of the soft magnetic material. Iron can easily magnetize or demagnetize. Still hard magnetic material. Steel is hard to magnetize or demagnetize. Example needle found with it. Compass. Non-furious material. Non-furious material is opposite furious material. It is non-magnetic material and it will not be affected by a magnetic field when they are placed in one example like carbon, copper, aluminium. Then we have electromagnet. Electromagnet is powered by electrical current with soft material like iron inserted in the coil of solid. So the strength of electromagnet varies proportionately to current flowing in the wires. Let's look into magnetizing and demagnetizing materials. Magnetizing a, magnet a magnetic materials is another method. Magnetize, which is involved the stroking magnet material with one end of permanent magnet in a single direction, for example, as shown in this diagram. So we have iron and we have magnet. And then you can see we it involves the stroking of magnetic material, as is shown in this diagram. Demagnetizing a magnetic material is a way, if a few ways of demagnetizing the magnetic material, for example, repeating heating and dropping is one of the examples, which is repeating heating and dropping. It means that by smashing the magnet with brutal forces, and under touch impact, the magnetism of the material will be disoriented, causing it lose its magnetic ability. And then 
Another example, demagnetizing a magnetic material is heating to high temperature and the intense heat, the magnetic dipoles in the material will be disoriented or through alternate stroking or periodic and gradual movement of magnet in and out of solenoid power by AC or alternating current supply. These are the examples showing the motion of the magnet. <coughs> Example of stroking. This is the motion of the net in, and this is the way it's out. The motion of the net. Electromagnetism force. Force acting on the current carrying wire is to determine the direction of the force acting on the wire. So you need to know the direction of current flowing in the wire. The direction of external magnetic field lines and using line and rules. You can see. The thumb finger is actually reflect the directions of forces, and this is the magnetic field, and this is the direction of the current. Force of beam of charged particle. The device contains an electron gun that will fire a beam of electron into magnetic field generated by the current passing through the coil. The screen has a put for a set material that glow whenever an electron strikes it. Using left hand rules, point our finger in a reverse manner for electron beam. This is due to negative charge. The direction of electron beam always opposite to that of conventional current. This is motto in terms of the electromagnetism force. When the direct current flow in and out of magnetic field at a direction perpendicular to its magnetic coil line, there will be a force at both sides of a coil. When the direction current flow in and out of magnetic field at a direction perpendicular, there will be force at both sides of the coil. Since direction of current flowing opposite direction, direction of two forces follow likewise and act in opposite direction. This is lead to the effect of the coil crossing rotate between the magnetic poles. The turning effect is greatest when the coil is horizontal and the lower zero when the coil is vertical. To calculate the electromagnet force formula is F equals to N D I N, where F is an electromagnetic force in Newton and N is represent number of coil, B is a magnetic field which is in times, and L is the length of point, which is in the middle. So basically, what is going to explain in this presentation slide is how DC motor work in terms of the, in relations to the electromagnetism force. Electromagnetism effect. So electromagnetic induction, where happen where an electric current is generated in a wire when it is exposed to a change in magnetic field. Example, imagine where you have a wire loop, a magnet and a light bulb. So when you move the magnet near the wire loop, the bulb suddenly light up. So it is like turning motion into power. This is meaning of electromagnetic induction. You can see this gen AG generator. How the AG generator play an important role in giving electromagnetic effect. So within magnetic field, coil, this is a coil, connected to external circuit AC consists of coil wire, often referred as armature, that is rotated. This is rotated within magnetic field and connected to external circuit. So when the coil mechanically rotated within magnetic field passing through coil changes, as the coil rotate, the magnetic field passing through it changes continuously with generate the AC in wires. So for the AG generator to work, AC will demonstrate how mechanical energy can be converted into electrical, so energy. So it is the power generation, the most 
power of light. Let's look into the transformer. Transformer has two coils of wire with more loops and one with fewer loops. When you send electrical through the coil with more loop, it acts like a magician at making the electricity stronger. So when it flows through the coil with fewer loops, it becomes weaker. It is like turning small electricity into big electricity and back again. And transformer play a crucial role in the efficient distribution of electricity with changing the voltage to suit different needs in our home and industry while keeping the power safe and reliable. That is the function of transformer. Let's into the cathode ray oscilloscope. Cathode ray oscilloscope display an electrical signal. It uses a magic bead of light, like a laser pointer, to draw a picture. When an electrical signal goes out or goes in, the CRO, cathode ray oscilloscope, moves the magic bead up and down at side to side super fast to create a picture. This helps us to see things like sound, wave, heartbeats, and even Wi-Fi signal. It is like having a superpower to visualize invisible electricity. So in reality, cathode ray oscilloscope is a valuable tool in electronic and science, which is used to view and measure different types of electrical signal for testing and analysis. It helps us see how voltage change over time and understand electronic circuits better. Let's look into the treatment of cathode ray oscilloscope. In this oscilloscope, is inside. This is in terms of the hardware. You can see the X plate where it's located and the Y plate where it is located. Y plates, you can see this is a Y plate. You can imagine this is with so called as a vertical deflection. When a voltage is applied to the Y plates, Okay, the voltage comes from this side, it's applied to the Y plate, it generates an electric field between them. And this electric field can move the electron beam up and down, depending on the polarity and magnitude of the voltage applied. This movement creates the vertical deflection of the trace on the CRO screen, which allows you to to visualize the changes in the input signal and the It will display the signal in the fluorescent screen. So you can see whether the signal is fluctuate from these changes, the flow of electric current. And then one X plate, which is sitting on this side, and it is in the form of horizontal deflection. You can see, right, this is horizontal. And when the voltage is applied to the X plate, they create an electric field that can move the electron beam horizontally. The direction and extent of the beam horizontal motion depend on the voltage, polarity, and magnitude. And this movement controls the horizontal deflection on the trace on the screen and enables you to see how the input signal changes with the time. Yes, you can see this is one of the examples. From the screen, you can see where there is the input signal changes with the time. Okay, this is an example of the cathode ray oscilloscope. This is the AC plotted again times. This is a positive DC plotted again times. This is the zero value, and the line is actually plotted at the positive area. And this is the measurement of negative DC. The period and frequency of the wave motion can be calculated by the following method. 
period is equal to the distance between the consecutive peaks multiplied by time based on scale. And meanwhile, frequency equals to 1 over period. That is how you calculate the value on the scale. Or the frequency or the period of the wave motion using this formula. With that being said, that's all for today's presentation. I hope that you really understand the main topic with regards to electromagnetism and magnetism. Don't forget to subscribe to Don to Jum Study Line YouTube channel. Hope that you are happy with this presentation and understand the material. That's all for today. Thank you very much.